small business owners know cutting costs without cutting quality is tough. How do you trim expenses without hurting your business? Easy. Get Spectrum Business. Call 888-489-2212. Switch to Spectrum Business and you can get the best internet and phone services for half of what you're paying today. Cutting costs can be easy when you get Spectrum Business. Just call 888-489-2212. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Small business owners know cutting costs without cutting quality is tough. How do you trim expenses without hurting your business? Easy. Get Spectrum Business. Call 888-489-2212. Switch to Spectrum Business and you can get the best internet and phone services for half of what you're paying today. Cutting costs can be easy when you get Spectrum Business. Just call 888-489-2212. Restrictions apply. Call for details. It is our number one of the G-Bag Nation here on 105.3 The Fan. Thanks for uh, checking in with us. Thanks for making us part of your day. It is a Friday. We have uh, Belgium and Italy uh, underway. We got some uh, European football, and we'll keep you updated. Uh, we uh, Every day at 2 o'clock, we take a look at the top stories that have developed since last we broadcasted with you, and this time around, it's, a, it's an extra long time period because we were off yesterday as uh, the Rangers and Joey Gallo we're doing mad work. They uh, they got the win, and they'll be back at it tonight against Seattle. So let's talk about these sports. What do you say? General at your service, Eddie's. There's Jeff Cavanaugh, Brian Broaddus, Lucius Alexander along with you. We are the G-Bag Nation here on 105 Through the Fan. Did you guys enjoy your Thursday off yesterday? Yeah, and I told you guys the Rangers are the only team that wasn't cheating. So now we have the best team in baseball. So that's really exciting. To it watch is. what they're going to do the rest of the way. and Man, that spider tech was really messing up Joey. <laughs> they're going to storm into the postseason hot yeah. like fire. Oh, oh, let's go. It's going to be great. How close are we to the wild card? Let me take a peek. we're like still 18 games out. All right. Like that. So yeah. let's get, you know, just keep it up a little bit. Yeah, a couple some stumbles. A couple, two, three more weeks of this. Yeah. Let's we got the Tigers up. coming in town. Maybe beat up on them a little bit, you know. After okay, I didn't realize they were eight games in last in the division. So, yeah, yeah we got a lot of ground to make yeah. up. Yeah. It's really unfortunate. It can be done. It is really unfortunate that they got rid of the spider tack because yeah. I was kind of enjoying the uh, – we were going to have a two-year tank plan. Yeah. Jack Leiter and one more pick, but we're going to play our way out of that premier pick the way things are going right now. I have faith, Jeff. All right. We shall see, though. A dramatic summer of Rangers baseball resumes tonight at 9 o'clock, Brian. How'd yeah, you do? Yeah, I, all good. All yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, it's funny how you have really good intentions of doing a lot of things, uh-huh. and you just do a bag of nothing. Okay. I, I, I led the league in bag of nothing yesterday. Right I on. I just kind of, you know, like lay into bed and like like look at my phone, Twitter the whole time. Uh-huh. That, 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 I forgot how addicting that could be, but that's basically what I did yesterday. Abby had a long list of things that I have failed to buy her over the last 10 days or so. So, no, we went out. She hasn't out. figured out how to get them herself yet. <laughs> huh? We went out and we got some. The, the kids are, are all buzzing, at least the littler ones, like the elementary school age kids, about these fidgets and, and different type of things that oh. you can buy that – you know, do really basic things, but they're obsessed with them. These things called poppets. Uh, and I'm sure they'll be over it in like three months, just like the spinners. Poppets? Uh, Twist it. Yeah. Pop it. Yeah. Pull you know, it. Uh, well, no, not a bop it. Okay. Uh, it's, 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 it's different. It's, it's not even worth explaining. But oh, man. We went to the learning sp- store and, and spent like 40 bucks on just worthless crap. Yeah. It was, it was miserable. Back in the day, that was that poppy paper that we used to have. Back yes. in the 70s. Yeah. Used, but, well, you know, it's a w- poppy paper. It's like bubble wrap? Bubble wrap, yeah. Okay. Poppy paper is what we used to call it. And, yeah, it it'd only worked one time. Uh-huh. You know, it only it, it, once you once you popped it. These it was are over. like rubber. You pop through, and then you can turn it around and pop it back the yeah, other way. This it's, is, yeah, it, it's not the same. It's just gone viral. You know, it's just gone viral, and it makes no sense. Like but the pet all, rock and stuff. They're, like yeah, that. they're all trying to collect them and and yeah. stuff like that. So we ran around and, and did all of that. Then we got back to the house and we picked up a dub in Warzone. Uh, your guy, Doctor oh, nice. Pepper Hickson, uh, jumped into ours and he carried us to a victory. Yeah, that was you cool. Get, you catch the right lobby. Hickson's taking you to Hickson a dub. Can play. I think he had bit. eighteen kills. Yeah. It was impressive. Bot lobby so uh yeah we're off and running we got the g-bag of the day coming up here for you at 2 30 the usa shikari richardson a local sprinter Shikari. 
Well, uh, Shakari, I keep messing that up. Mm-hmm. She will not be allowed to run in the Olympic 100 meter race due to a one month ban for the positive marijuana test. She she'll be able to compete in the relays. Why don't they just push push back the 100 meters? Yeah. They got all kinds of flexible stuff. I, I, Why don't you just lie about it? This is my newest idea because I believe the people who test you is the USADA, right? Uh huh. So. It why like, not? It's like something to do meat, USDA. Why not just <laughs> ignore her positive test? Yeah. She's running for your country, yeah. and yeah. who cares? It's weed. that's what that's what they did for Carl Lewis and steroids <laughs> in the eighties. Just ignore it. They were just like, "Yep, nothing to see here. Move along. Carl's our guy. We'll see you in the Olympics." So the world champion at a hundred meters, the male hundred meter world champion at the moment. Uh huh. He's an American. He's not running in the Olympics. He's not allowed. Uh, he missed tests. Yeah. Oh, and now she Carrie Richardson um, smoked some weed after she found out that her biological it's kind of an LSU died. thing to do. And so she's not allowed to run. So it's just dumb. It is. It's Those horrible. are our fastest people. Yeah. And they're not cheating. Like it's, let it, them run. It's it's recreational or medicinally legal in over half the states. It's crazy. Yesterday, three more states just had laws come into effect on on the books. And it, it, it totally sucks that it's not a performance-enhancing drugs. You know, a, a lot of the, the steroids, HGH, I totally see it, maybe even hard drugs. But, I mean, if you're doing hard drugs, you're probably not going to qualify or be able to compete. So I think cannabis yeah. sits in, its, <laughs> in, a, in, in a unique type of spot. And it's the only, quote-unquote, recreational drug where our actual brains have receptors for it, almost like Mother Nature herself intends for us to use cannabis Sir. as a, a a general medicine for all sorts of things that might come around whether it be anxiety or or inflammation or whoever knows you know what it might be but what about that idea is it a ped in the form of because i read this in the stupid maybe initial rec- rule made like helps 04 re- recovery and it's like yeah if it's um if it helps you with inflammation mm-hmm. you won't get anxious before a big event I'm like, well, then it just sounds like everyone should do it. Like, it's not making you bigger, stronger, <laughs> faster, but you're saying it's good for you. I is guarantee what you're it. Saying. I guarantee it. Uh, stereotyping here, the Jamaicans are getting away with something. <laughs> I mean, Perhaps. three they of are, the fastest they, four. I mean, they're, yeah. they're, their body of testing has figured it out, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, and, and if it's true that in it's Jama- called yams, brought us this yams, <laughs> yams, That's yams, man, yams, man. I, I I've Amon. been there, and I tell you what, man, it's they figured it out. If the Marley family is a reflection of Jamaica, and it is true that weed is incredibly prevalent Peter in Jamaica, Tosh, yes. then perhaps we should all smoke weed and run yes. faster. Yes. There needs to be like a common sense committee at all sports, to, so that at any time they can say, oh. Wait a minute. We're we're keeping her from running because of weed or we're ending Randy Gregory's career because of cannabis? Well, clearly this makes no sense. Punishment I, stricken. So that's the part that confuses me the most, I bet, I guess, because here's I'll read a few Autoflex leasing fan texts. 817, who cares? It was still a rule. She knew it and she broke it. She's an idiot. Um hmm. it's dumb, but it's also a rule from the 845. The rule is dumb also. Uh like you do get to pick which part of it bothers you because she, Carrie Richardson was on the today. I think it's called the today show. Yeah. And like, she owned it. She was like, yeah, I knew the rule and, uh, I broke the rule. So like, she's accepting her punishment. She took their stupid weed is bad class, which is how you get it reduced from three months to one month. So she took the weed is bad course. Wonder if so she was n- high while she was doing it. <laughs> so it's been reduced to a month, but yeah, I mean, if your take is that, hey, I agree with what Shakari said about herself. She shouldn't have broken the rule. Like, that's fine. I just, I don't know why anyone's energy would go that direction as opposed to, hey, the entire world is changing the rules on marijuana. Marijuana does not make you run faster. The Olympics is for the run fast people to run against each other to see who's the fastest. The rule is dumb. I just yeah. don't understand the energy being, well, why'd you break the rules, stupid head? My energy will be. I don't care about that stupid rule. Change the stupid yeah, rule. Yeah, you know, the, the 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 rule is done by governance and you know people that have uh, all the time in the world to study these things. Typically, a violation happens in a moment of weakness by a young individual who may or may not be dealing with a minor or significant mental health issue, and that's 
what people are now starting to wrap their minds around is substance abusers aren't people that are partying or throwing a middle finger to authority. They just have a method for coping with the stresses of the real world that sometimes they have a weakness to, just like the fat ass in her kitchen reaches for bonbons compulsively. That right? is and not illegal, too, by the way. Because if you. it was legal, if I had opioids that was prescribed by a doctor, that was fine, right? Yeah. I can explain, I can explain oh. that, but I can't do the other thing. Because yeah. if I do the other thing, now I have a mental illness. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a great point. You know, the and the opiates are so much more dangerous. So the whole idea that morally the USOC or the NCAA or the NFL is looking out for your best interests while green lighting a, uh, Adderall or, um, you know, opiates. These are kinds of things that you could get addicted to and suffer significant health consequences for the rest of your life or end up overdosing on the opiates. So they're handing those things out if you have a significant injury. But with this, it's just like, you know, I, 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 the, the whole common sense thing has to be a bigger part of, you know, how we govern these things, especially with people who may or may not have one opportunity in their entire Olympic cycle. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there's an appeals process or something can be done on some level, but they need our American eyeballs to make the Olympics go. They need our advertising dollars. So hopefully now is a time where one of the major stars of track and field is going to be out and it will force some conversations to be had. Well, and I saw a really great idea. And by the way, Shakari Richardson should probably pick up like a CBD endorsement tomorrow. Mm-hmm. There you go. Um, yeah. And that, that I actually think is a cool aspect of this. When unjust or stupid rules cost people these days, people tend to make it right on the back end because they know it's a good look. Like, yeah. you, you're like, yeah, sure. You can have people who are all mad and think that the athlete's an idiot, and that's, that's fine. If you want to live your life as a dummy, you can do that. But – somebody's going to take advantage of that. And if I were Shakari Richardson, I saw this idea on the tweeter, and I don't remember who it was, so I apologize, can't give you credit. What I would do is I would set up, in the day that they run the four-by-one final, I would run a 100, does it mean, I always get confused on meter or yard. I would run 100 by myself with cameras, and I would go when the gun sounds, and I'd put it on the internet, and I'd monetize the views, and I would see... Where'd she finish? Yeah. Because people will be interested. Like, let's do it. Yeah, you put something together like that for sure. I, I think there's a lot of advertising eyeballs. That that, that bad boy's going to go viral. You can get a sponsor involved. So uh, we're getting a, a, a lot of uh, a feedback here on the Autoflex Leasing Fan Text, and we appreciate uh, you know all the good work you're doing on there, sharing you uh, sharing your thoughts uh, you know with us. And, and maybe we'll get another opportunity to talk about this a little bit later on here in the G-Bag Nation. Among the other big things that blew up yesterday, this Kawhi Leonard story, we got to talk about this later on. Maybe He's coming. We could talk about it and what you drink it and what you think, and that'll kick off 530, 540-ish. I think the Mavs have a better chance of, of getting Kawhi. They have the Italians scored. They've done it. They're up 1-0 on Belgium in the 13th minute. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I do think the chances of getting Kawhi are a little bit better than Damian Lillard, but neither one of them has any better than maybe a 2% chance. Uh uh, obviously, if he's going to move on from the Clippers, it would be a big game changer, and all of a sudden it becomes a huge summer in, in the world of NBA free agency. But I would just be shocked. It seemed like he was just fighting to get out of Texas and was hell-bent on going to Los Angeles. I think if he leaves the Clippers, he'll f- just figure out a way to get to the Lakers. They'll get, like, Kyle Kuzma and future picks, and Kawhi Leonard will be on his way over there or something. Didn't um, – I don't know if I remember this right. Didn't he not want to do that for one reason or another? Yeah, I like think he, he, was, didn't he didn't want to run to LeBron. He didn't want to be in LeBron's shadow. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I guess he would go. I think most likely he'll just get the Clippers to do whatever he wants, and he'll opt out. But the thing that sticks out to me about Kawhi Leonard is when he didn't trust the Spurs medical staff, he found his way out of San Antonio. And the story is that he doesn't trust the Clippers medical staff. Maybe. Yeah. I'll do some I, blind hope. I bet the Clippers hire a new team doctor. That's the move. That's what you should do. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you don't trust them? Fine. They're yeah. fired. What else do you need? Which uh, team doctor would you prefer, Kawhi? Yeah. Hired. <laughs> How do you feel about Paul George, Pat Beverly, Morris? Who else? We'll move everybody. I don't care. You like the coach, right? Ty Lue's your guy? Cool. I mean, that, I think that's what you do for superstars and in today's sports world. But uh, we can keep our fingers crossed that – maybe he liked texas maybe he was like man texas was a cool place i was just over the spurs it's time to move on 
But I, I, I think Miami, it was amongst the other teams. And shoot, I mean, I just, I was in Miami uh, early last month. And I mean, it feels like you're dropped into some sort of tropical island that also has a major city on it. And there's just, there's so much good going on in Miami. And, you know, some of the stuff like no state taxes and stuff that Texas offers. I know. I'm I can't sorry, believe dude. you hate <laughs> Dallas, Texas, or DFW as a whole, really. Wow. You've been to Miami? You have? Yeah. You spent, some, spent a little time yeah, there on Miami, South Beach? To me, Miami, well, okay. So for a premier athlete, depending on your personality, yeah, I'm sure it could be great. For me, I want nothing to do with Miami. It's entirely too much. Oh, way yeah, too much happening. Oh my gosh! Hold on. You talking about too much? You talking about the price wise? No, no, no. I mean the life. Oh, like it yeah. is. There's, oh, man. there's people well, and loud and music everywhere. I'll just go down there to Fort Lauderdale a little bit. Just move Correct. just, just yeah. a little bit. I need to be an hour up the road. But I like being on that Biscayne area. Yeah. The Delano. I like that little area over okay. there. Bro. Is that the main place? Main part by, South, by South Beach? Beach. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yep. Yep. Man, just walking through it, it just it captures so much of like a city environment with the beach environment and. You know, there's just young people everywhere being free, and the the Walk laws are with cool. Snakes around their necks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the uh, young Bennett Broadus is looking at five schools, and one of them is Miami. And I was trying to figure it all out, and I started getting some research on it. He's gonna uh-huh. go hard. Yeah, and I was like, oh, he might yeah, end up no. at this place. Yeah. A lot of good stuff to look at. Yeah, a lot of good stuff to look at. <laughs> it's so expensive down there. You can only be yeah. down there for like three to four days, the most. <laughs> yeah. No, no, two to three days. Let uh, me say that backwards. He'll, he'll figure it out somehow, some way. I'll be paying for it. All righty, it is the G Bag Nation on 105.3 The Fan. We got winning time coming up. We'll have four chances at a grand. We'll have grand chances on deck for you. We do have the first Dallas Cowboy getting involved in a public way with the cryptos. Did you see that story? I don't think you did. did. Not. It was hidden. I discovered it. I was I was mining I was mining gold for the podcast, and I'll I'll give you the goods on it coming up next year in the nation. Small business owners know cutting costs without cutting quality is tough. How do you trim expenses without hurting your business? Easy. Get Spectrum Business. Call 888-489-2212. Switch to Spectrum Business and you can get the best internet and phone services for half of what you're paying today. Cutting costs can be easy when you get Spectrum Business. Just call 888-489-2212. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Is your outside keeping you inside? Take back your yard from mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas. With Mosquito Joe, outside is fun again. Mosquito Joe treatments get to work quickly and keep working for weeks to ensure your yard is itch-free. Our technicians are outdoor pest control experts dedicated to getting rid of mosquitoes and ticks so that you can enjoy being outside again. Put down the bug spray and pick up the phone. Call Mosquito Joe today at 716-418-8118 or visit us online at MosquitoJoe.com. All right, welcome back, Nation. Goal taken off. We're still scoreless, Italy and Belgium. A winning time, though. Text the word DOOR to 72881. That is DOOR to 72881. Here, uh, your next chance coming up in the three. Okay, we have a story of uh, of Zeke and Nets guard Spencer Dinwiddie coming together on a project. Some sports crypto news for you. And I'll tell you why I think it's important. Segments brought to you by Soda, that's state-of-the-art, and by the Frankels. If you're hurt in an accident, not your fault. Call the Frankels, 214-333-3333. Go to truckwreck.com. So I was was looking up uh, stories for the crypto podcast that I do every morning, and it was just a normal story until I got to the promotional artwork on this uh, this crypto app that Nets guard Spencer Dinwiddie is putting together. And I'll be dipped. There is Ezekiel Elliott. On the advertisement showing the different celebrities that Spencer is bringing on board for this crypto project he's doing, okay? Uh, the promotional picture, it, it includes a, a, a photo of Zeke and then some stars from TV and music and movies. And he's got this uh, this app called Galaxy, and it's going to be the first social media super app designed for creators and by creators. Uh, he said it's, a, it's an opportunity in creating a platform that helps monetize a celebrities online community. The point guard for the Nets initially told the press he would tokenize the contract in 2019, but the NBA had threatened to end his contract if he put it on the blockchain. But he was undeterred. And Didwitty is continuing on his mission to be a proponent of blockchain technology ever since. So it's a huge week for sports crypto stuff. I don't know if you're noticing this, but Tom Brady became an ambassador along with his wife, Giselle, of of the sixth largest cryptocurrency exchange, FTX. The Trailblazers announced a deal with StormX, 
which is a crypto app that offers shopping rewards. They're going to sponsor the Trailblazers, and they're going to have patches on their jerseys. And then Formula One did a $100 million deal with Crypto.com, which is a top five exchange, and it's their goal to bring crypto to the masses. So the reason I I think this is so important is you see so many American sports people basically being paid to endorse all of these different places. I think this is the, the next big move of the cryptocurrency into the mainstream market because you're getting people that are going to resonate with American consumers, with heads of households, with dads with big checking accounts, you know? And this, to me, is a clear sign. We're going to start seeing a, a ton more of this in sports, and maybe we're, we're getting significantly closer to, uh, to mass adoption there with your cryptos. Well, they, they just got to tell me which ones to buy, because <laughs> there's too many of them. Yeah, there are. And they just keep making more of them. Yeah. Like, why is Bitcoin the best one? Is Bitcoin the best one, or is it just the first one? Should it be worth more than all these other ones? I need smart people to just tell me where to put my money. Yeah. That's kind of what I need. So, yeah. Zeke, shoot me a text. Let me know which one I, to put I, it in. I would agree with what Jeff's saying because I'm talking to people that do have money, and I'm asking them, are you involved with crypto? And they're like, no, we tend to do things with the stocks or we'll do real estate. And I think there needs to be more people in the world that understand it like yourself, General, that are doing these podcasts that can maybe explain it. I I think that, you know, Formula One is something I follow because of my racing background and stuff like that. And, you know, I I mean, they're always there, you know, that's a European thing that travels the world. You You can understand why they would get involved with that. I just think there's a lot of people, though, that are my age and maybe a little younger from that 48 to 57 like myself that don't really understand all the crypto stuff yeah it's and, difficult and, to get your head and, around. and 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 you're and and you're like man when you get to a certain age you're like man i just got to keep my money in that market you know yeah. and and hope that it continues to to drive the way it is but like yourself doing a service to people out there to try and explain it maybe you will have older people with money that you know because I, I do i yeah. ask people all the time like are you making money in crypto or are you make it no we're making money in in, in bonds and stocks and yeah. real estate and stuff like that. I think it is going to settle in as similar to those sorts of assets that you would invest in, in that it's difficult to tell, you know, it's, it's a market and the, the price is established by the market and hundreds of thousands of people who are buying and selling it. So whatever the price is, it's probably a, you know, a pretty dang good reflection of supply and demand at the time. And I don't think crypto is going to be any different, but to answer your question, Bitcoin is the best. Bitcoin is the most decentralized, the most autonomous, and it's the most stable. Like when it goes bear market, a lot of the altcoins, your XRP and Ethereum and everything, those things crash 95% when it's a down two or three years. And then when the market kicks back up, then they start to rage and, and go on fire. And Bitcoin is a lot more resilient and there's a lot more reasons to believe in it long term. But I thought it was interesting that it, it appears Zeke is going to be amongst the people joining Spencer Dinwiddie over there. And I am keeping my eye on Des Bryant's Twitter account because he, he is quite a crypto actor himself former georgia and miami head coach mark richt has parkinson's disease at 61 years old uh the longtime college football coach revealing i have been uh, waddling around lately and people have asked what's wrong truthfully i look at it as a momentary light affliction compared to the future glory in heaven so he's got great perspective on it he retired from coaching after the 2018 season and has been working as an analyst for the acc uh network so yeah, that's uh, that's the Michael J. Fox one, right? That's kind of yeah. what, what you're in for, the Muhammad yeah. Ali. Yeah. yeah. So that's you tough. should see what Michael J. Fox said about what CBD has done for him and Parkinson's. It's gave him a lot of relief. You can just Google those it. quotes, man, yeah. and hopefully that coach get a hold of those quotes because it has helped him a lot. You know, Michael J. Fox is my guy. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Back to the future and whatnot. Right on, so. man. Well, you know, hopefully there's significant progress to be made on that because yeah. it's it's incredibly sad. I and I guess the good news it's not an it's not an immediate life sentence, but I, I don't know. I guess you know the people like that have to get uh, a, a great perspective on it from somewhere because you know whether it's Michael's sense of humor about it or or Mark Rick's perspective there. You know, it it, it seems like. It, it, you know, that diagnosis isn't, isn't the end of joy in life for a lot of the yeah, people that get it. Mark is a deeply religious man. And you, you know, there's, I mean, he's been some great, I mean, I remember him when he first got into coaching at, at you know, at, uh, he was at Miami, you know, and, and did a great job with the national championship, came back, I mean, left, 
you know, we went to Georgia. I mean, everywhere he's been, he's had success. And this is something that, like I say, his faith has always been the strongest part of his personality. And so he, he will he will look at this challenge as, to him, God's plan, and, and he'll do the best he can to, to deal with it. Something that's very, very difficult, especially for a man at 61 years old. You'd like to believe he still has a, a lot to give in life. But uh, yeah. I, I know Mark, he'll, he'll fight this thing tooth and nail. Right on. Okay, it is time now for the G-Bag of the Day, curated by Lucius Alexander. And a happy yeah. Friday, sir. Yeah! Let's go. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Let's go! That's massively happy. Feeling it. Let's Loving go. It. Let's Loving go, it. man. Yeah. I'm trying to feel it. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Let's see. Financial advice one okay. from the last time we did this, right? All right. That's what I looked. I looked on the uh, G-Bag okay. Twitter, okay. and that's what it looks yeah, like, right? Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. just making sure. Checking up with you guys. Some financial advice right here that I suggest you do not take. Not from the G-Bag Nation, at least. Listen, man, if you get a loan from a bank, bro, they're going to take you about 20, 30 years to pay back. <laughs> but if you rob the bank, you only get like 10 years. Come on, man, follow me for more financial advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. He wanted to vote off. Now, is that, hey, is that if, assuming that... You don't everybody, mind jail that much. Is that yeah. assuming that everybody yeah. who robs a bank gets away, stashes the money, and then does their 10 years and comes out to the money? I've only heard I one so. story about that. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't think that's the way it goes. Yeah, I've only heard one story about that, and that happened like the late 70s. <laughs> My family knows that guy. They always, every time he comes around, hey, man, tell that time about you robbed the bank. Go ahead and tell that story. I'm like, I heard the story 37 times. Here we go again. By the way, I would not bury that cash, you know, with the hyperinflation, the money printing coming up here. What? It's, uh, it's on the horizon. You you could bury those dollars. And by the time you go to dig it up 10 years later, it might be worth like a dime. Okay. You know? That's why I'm scared about my crypto. Buy some real estate. That's why I'm scared about my cryptos. Yeah. I made Dodge money way too fast, right? Uh-huh. And then there's other little old coins I got that they're doing their little things. Like, you can see the future. If they do what they're supposed to do and there's a whole lot of people, there's armies and whatnot, yeah. inflation's going to be there. For sure. Because yeah. there's going to be a whole lot more new people that's got mad money. Uh-huh. And they're like, oh, okay, we're going to tax y'all. Uh-huh. We'll play this game. I mean, yes, am I sir. tripping? Am I tripping? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I only have opinions, not financial advice, Lucius. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> I'm yeah. with Gavin. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm shocked. Right. I don't know just, nothing. You just gave financial Man, y'all just advice. played. D- wow. You, no, see, no. you see how they did? You see I'm how they did I'm pretty sure me? that was an FCC violation. Did you see fact. how they just did me, bro? No, no. They I, just all moonwalk like, oh, no, no, I know. I admitted <laughs> I know nothing about crypto. <laughs> wow. I, I said it earlier. Yeah. All right, I, anyway, I I'm on record. All right. Let's not do financial advice. How about the law? Okay. Did you know wheeling your bike, your bicycle is against the law and you could be arrested? I've wheeling seen a it? video of that on Twitter. This is like, crazy. What? Like, we used to do this all the time as kids. Like, competitions, see how far popping you can go. Popping wheelies? Popping wheelies. Is remember, it illegal? Remember, Meek Mill went to jail for popping a wheelie, but that was on a motorcycle, a dirt yeah. bike. Okay, Even okay. bicycles is against the law. Check this out. You down here riding a loft on your bicycle? Hold your wallet. Mm-hmm. We're going to handle business. Stand Sir, on the is it illegal? What did he do that was illegal? Don't worry, I'm recording too. Can I just ride in a wheelie? That's careless driving on a bicycle. You got any more questions about traffic it's laws? It's careless in your opinion, perhaps. You're right. <laughs> Have a good day. You're free to go. He's being detained. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's real, man. So he gets some PSAs out here for the holiday weekend and some advice for you guys. Man, that's crazy. I, I feel like if they don't like you, they'll just make up something that was maybe careless. You got to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> we had like. <laughs> you me just that? coming around to this at forty five. Like, resisting. man, you know what? I'm ten, <laughs> ten yards away from you, bro. Were, were you guys good at doing the wheelie things? Oh yeah. Oh my really? god. That was like so good. you could ride it a long way. Mm-hmm. You could, you know. I was better at going no, fast. No, I I couldn't fast do a wheelie guy. at all. Oh, I see, I got good wheelie. because I had couldn't. to use my cousin's bike. When I would spend time over there, and it'd be like the extra bike, the one nobody wants to ride, had no seat on it. So you got to start learning how to do uh, weird yeah. things. Yeah, Learn I could to, get uncomfortable. Yeah, man. Do you guys think that maybe we should just have somebody who's like a normal person with like a slightly above average IQ just kind of sit down with all the laws and just be like, no, no. So many common dumb sense. laws. Yeah. So common sense so check. So many yeah. dumb laws. Just that one's no. We're, that, we're done. Just go back and review them. <laughs> yeah, let's just start over. A review every once in a while, every 10 years. Can we review it at least? Stop adding. Yeah. Yeah, stop. <laughs> we got enough. <laughs> All right, we got a kid right here being interviewed at a baseball camp. Okay. Right, this happened in North Carolina. Check out this kid. What's your experience been like here at the Cliff Godwin baseball camp? Pretty fun. I like playing first base and third base. And, you know, I just came here to hit dingers and have a good time. 
That's about it. I love it, man. That's a Phil Mickelson. Dude, right there. I wish I could hit dingers. I never did in my youth baseball career. Hit some in softball. I no longer have any proof that I've hit dingers because mm. it was just the two baseballs from the year that I accidentally hit two over the fence. Yeah. And uh, they were on the bottom shelf of the bookshelf. And the new dog was like, toy. And I was like, eh, it's cool. Oh, Whatever. no. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Tough no. Break. The yeah. beast got a hold of it. Yeah. So now it's just the windy <laughs> string that's inside a baseball. That's all that's left. It's got sentimental value still. You can say you knocked the cover off it. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, there you go. CD has power. If you need to know, find Clay Buckholz and ask him. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. You know what I'm saying? You rootin' tootin'. (laughs) I remember that one hitter he threw when we lost 14 to (laughs) 1. Any other nominees on this Friday, Lucius? Uh, yeah, what do you say? Another, I got another PSA okay. for you. You know, Apple has this new thing where you can put it on, uh, like, trackers, basically. What? You really? can track your stuff. Yeah, you can bit, track your car, track your like whatever GPS stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Apple trackers. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're starting to drop it on people. Like you'd be out in a club and oh, somebody would yeah. drop it in the lady's purse or your pocket. Oh no, or something like that. And maybe somebody you like a, a, a Uber. Uh huh. You drop it in the Uber, be like I'm gonna rob this dude later. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, pay attention. Um, this weekend on Saturday, I went to dinner with a group of friends for this girl's birthday. If you know me, I don't normally carry a purse, but on Saturday I did because we had decorations and stuff for the table. Anyways. At the end of the night, I am cleaning my purse out, and I find this. <laughs> if you don't know what this is, it's a tile. It's not mine. I don't know how it got in my purse. I immediately took the battery out. Don't worry. But, um, yeah, so check your purses and uh, stay safe out there. Yeah, be very careful romantic. This weekend, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> very, and be careful. Yeah, very, very romantic. You never know when you have a secret admirer slash stalker. <laughs> Oh. That's rough. Yeah. I, I wonder if they could reverse engineer that bad boy to see whose account it is. Yeah, that'd be nice. And go visit that uh, that gentleman or lady, who or whoever her stalker may be. Just dropped it in there and forgot about it. Sorry. Is it our buddy with the bank robbing financial advice, our one-time champion? Is it the, the wheelie cop? Is it the kid interviewed at the baseball camp or the apple tracker gal? I'm going to go financial advice again, Lucius. Me too. It's 2 O'Brien. How about the kid with the baseball? It's two one, Jeff. Financial advice. I think it's sound, and I think it's uh, <laughs> it's a good message. Follow me for more financial <laughs> advice, bro. I just love how he gets right here. to the point and sums it up beautifully. It's three to one. He's done it again. A two time champ. The kid at the baseball camp could have easily won it, though. Those were some good nominees. Tune in um, Tuesday. Yeah, we got a three day weekend. Whenever we're here. Yeah, tune in. Tune in Tuesday there at two uh, thirty. See if we can make it three in pursuit of five. Krusty's Corner coming up next here. Where are we headed, Brian? Guys, it's Friday, and it's the sports mix. We'll do that next. Is your outside keeping you inside? Take back your yard from mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas. With Mosquito Joe, outside is fun again. Mosquito Joe treatments get to work quickly and keep working for weeks to ensure your yard is itch-free. Our technicians are outdoor pest control experts dedicated to getting rid of mosquitoes and ticks so that you can enjoy being outside again. Put down the bug spray and pick up the phone. Call Mosquito Joe today at 716-418-8118 or visit us online at mosquitojoe.com. I'd say give or take uh, 40 minutes from the next winning time, your next grand chance. It is now time for Brian Broaddus and Krusty's Corner. Here he is, Broaddus. Thank you very much, General. Appreciate that. Uh, also, too, real quick, I want to thank everybody that's kind of followed along with uh, Win Autosport. I've noticed our... our uh, Twitter page. We've got more followers, and a lot of the people that have been following are guys that, and gals that follow me, so I appreciate you guys doing that. Uh, we got a race today back at Watkins Glen. Nice. It's only a two-hour and 40-minute race today, but we were just a Light work. tick. Yeah, we were just a tick away from uh, getting the pole again yesterday. You'll win. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, we race at uh, 5 o'clock this evening. How long so, is it? Two hours and 40 minutes. Oh, yeah, it's easy, Dub. You guys yeah. are good early. Will, will you Will you remain struggling. focused on the show? I are will. we going to watch I, this on TV? No, I, I I might have I might have my live timing up on my screen, so generally, okay. I'll, I'll, but I'll, but again, I just want to thank everybody out there for all the support and all the well wishes, and we really do appreciate all that. So hopefully, uh, we'll get in the victory circle again today like we did they last They have done it again. Yeah. What a strike. 2-0 Italy. Oh, dang in, it. In the 45th. <laughs> when did Italy start playing attacking soccer? I thought they were always defensive-minded. But anyway, yeah, it's long enough. Here's Italy in, right. in, in, in Germany actually doing well. Uh, so anyway, okay, sports mix as we do every Friday. And uh, these are the questions I have in my brain as I walk around and uh, want my guys to answer them. They used to give me really good answers, so hopefully they'll give you good answers as well. Gentlemen. Yeah. Are the Hawks dead? 
I don't think so. No, I don't think so. You know, you had a hell of a game last night from Brooke Lopez. You had like five Milwaukee Bucks score 20 or more, it seemed like. No, Hawks aren't dead. 3-2, that's easy. Two straight wins, they're in it. Uh, I'll call them dead while allowing that they could still win game six. But <laughs> overall, they are dead because uh, I do subscribe to something that Mike Basick was talking about today. First of all, this is not what he was talking about. I do believe Milwaukee has the two best players on the floor left in the series, but mm-hmm. we'll see who comes back. Uh, God, that's why they're not dead. What if Giannis doesn't come back? If Trey yeah. Young comes back and Giannis doesn't come back, okay. then they're not dead. All right. But if they both come back or neither come back, then they are dead. Because what we're down to is role players versus role players. And so the Atlanta yeah. role players played well at home, and then Milwaukee role players and really good role players like yeah. Drew Holiday sure. and Chris Middleton. The better role players. The better role players. They all played great at home. Yeah. And so now you go back to Atlanta, and they might play great at home, but in game seven, unless we get Trey and no Giannis, they're dead. They're dead. It's not like there's whisperings that Giannis is not going to come back at all for the that's, playoffs. That's what I'm worried about. Because Trey Young tried yesterday. Yeah, and he just couldn't. He couldn't like answer He warmed about, up, yeah. and it was like, nope. Nope, But I go. didn't see anything about Giannis yeah. trying anything. There's a lot of whispering going on that Giannis is not going to reappear. Well, they need to sit him down somewhere. Because in that game, they showed him about 20 times reacting he's to a moving, play. And yeah, he's, he's standing up he's and celebrating. I'm like, you sit down. Yeah. And you do not move. Ice. Yeah. Ibuprofen. <laughs> It's Maybe a the heating rice, pad. The rice method. Okay. Rest, ice, ice compression, compression, elevation. Elevation. Yeah, rice. You okay. do not stand up, real, sir. Real quick, if I can deviate from that, what we just did there. Jeff, how many of those did you actually follow when you had a bad knee? Would you, were you 0 uh, for 4 in all the rice method? I didn't do the R. I did some of the I, not a lot of C, and pr- very little E. So some I, some E, no C, no R. Would you consider yourself a terrible patient? The worst. Des Bryant's a bad one too, by the way. I was way worse than Des. Des Des, Des is pretty bad. Because when I tore my ACL, there wasn't anybody to stop me from going onto the field. (laughs) So it was three and a half months later without rehab and no muscle in my quad. I was a worse patient than Des ever dreamed of being. Des Des just wanted to play. He didn't care. (laughs) Chop off my finger, I'll play. I don't care. Yeah, it's one of those things. 2-1 Italy. Lukaku oh. penalty kick. Thank oh. goodness. I'm waiting on Lukaku to get a kick. Lukaku. <laughs> <laughs> Luka and Lukaku. Yeah, yeah, I, saw our, both. yeah. I saw our buddy Hellman before this match started. Yeah. He decided he was going to be a Belgian fan yeah. the rest of the tournament. I was he like, fine, beer. me too. Yeah. And now we're down. Now we're down. Okay, guys, who is your washed quarterback for the upcoming NFL season? Oh, Ben Roethlisberger. Oh, it is over, 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 over. For Ben Roethlisberger. You're Steelers going, are dead in the water. You're not going back on Brady? No, Steelers are – because Brady, I'm just hoping for it and think it's possible. Uh-huh. But for Roethlisberger, it already happened, and the Steelers are pretending it didn't. Ben mm-hmm. Roethlisberger is washed, 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 washed. Man, I don't think there's any other choice. I'm looking up, like, old quarterbacks. Yeah, Fitzpatrick could be washed. I guess m- maybe Matt Ryan, Tom Brady should be washed, but he's got such a great team around him. I don't know if there's an uh, – yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just go with what Jeff said, Ben Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger it is. Alex Smith retired. Phil Rivers retired. Yeah, we're, we're starting to lose the the options there for a little bit. Most of the old dudes are shutting it down. I would say that Roethlisberger's the guy. I was just wondering – I was just seeing yeah. – if I was going to see if you were going back on that Brady That's stuff. why we told you yeah. when you guys were 8 or 9-0 and 0 or whatever that – it you didn't did. matter. It was you all tra- fake. You did. You tried to tell me that. And you were I, like, I, I don't know that. I championed on. I championed on. Then that guy got worse and worse as the season wore on. Well, he's a beer drinker. And he's <laughs> old and he's been hurt a lot. So, like, he can't do the Tom Brady thing because he's got a beer belly. And his bones aren't dense enough or something. He's got problems. He got Osteoporosis it. setting in on for him. Yeah, he's doesn't got, practice he's rice. Got, he's got yeah. problems. No, he doesn't yeah. practice rice. That's what he is. <laughs> None of that. And it's karma. And it's karma. Rice beer, maybe. Rice beer, yeah. Gentlemen, uh. are fireworks overrated? Fireworks shows overrated is what I should probably said there. Uh, it depends. Perfectly sober, maybe. But anywhere from half to full drunk, I think they're a lot of fun. And I don't partake in the marijuana because I'm not a dope head. Sure. And I don't want to, you know, not be allowed to do what I love, which is what happens if you smoke weed. Rules are rules, man. Don't want to be a doper these days. But my understanding is that would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
as long as you have enough purple and enough green in your fireworks display. Okay. Because if you're firing off a bunch of those yeah. ee, really yeah. high ones and they just poof, and yeah. it's just the white, yeah. that's boring. Yeah. But if you mix in enough <laughs> green and purple. Like the Mardi Gras colors, little gold, little green, little, yeah. Yeah, I love yeah. when the yeah. green shows up. Yeah. That's that's sexy in a fireworks. So. General? Uh, yeah, they are overrated, Brian. Uh, it's horrible. You know, the people waste so much money on the cheap <laughs> ones that they do in their front yard or whatever. Uh, those are pretty cool for maybe five to ten minutes, the excitement of lighting it and trying yeah. to get away while you still the think they might be dangerous. The scrambling, yeah. Yeah. You know, the mortars are pretty cool. Uh, but Roman when it, candle? Roman candles are cool, yeah, because you can fight with them. You know, I you got hit Roman in the side by wars. one one time, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Take your ski goggles, preferably, and something to cover your neck as well. You're going to want to protect yourself. Uh, and then, yes, at the actual fireworks show, I would say cool for three minutes, and then whenever they put up a new one, yeah. you know, because every now and then they'll be like, oh, curveball, here's, yeah. here's one you haven't seen yet. The whistler. Then, yeah. then it's cool for an additional five seconds at a time. Yeah. You know, but I I don't need 30 minutes. So right? uh, so you guys, neither one of you then are like like packing things up and getting to a fireworks show, right? If it just naturally, you're in an area and it uh, it happens. I mean, you're not going to like I used to go to Kaboom Town, Town all no. the time. Yeah. You lived over by that, right? Uh, Well, I went when I was young enough that like my parents would set it up and we would go but i okay. enjoyed the fireworks okay we have a we have a cool event at sunnyvale they do every year um that's kind of community hangout and sure. they have fireworks but I, i'm there just to see neighbors and, and right. talk with teachers and stuff that i haven't seen in a while coaches and the age group is relevant here yeah because if you are say high school age or younger mm-hmm. then fireworks much like scary movies is really an excuse to get somebody like in your vehicle at nighttime and it starts off we're like oh this is yeah. amazing and then yeah. your hand reaches up and then that's what it's for oh i see so, so. It, it, it helps you with your fire chances are, yeah fireworks are great for your first like 18 years do you ooh and ah a lot of ooh ah do you do a lot There's of yeah but on. not about the fireworks not about the fireworks you know i figure that saying? all right gentlemen yeah i know what you're talking about there <laughs> wow. right? hello guys uh-huh. give me a cowboy player that i tend to overrate Cowboy player Brian tends to overrate. Connor McGovern. Okay. An unknown, because you're out to get Connor Williams' head. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just <laughs> for a guy who hadn't really proven anything. So I'll say Connor McGovern. Uh, yeah, I think he does overrate Connor McGovern. I think uh, you uh, you were right on Cedric Wilson, so I'll be careful here. But I'm yeah. going to say you overrate Dalton Schultz pretty good. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's, Go a good, that's a good one. Yeah. Go get him. Yeah. Figure it out. I, you don't have a good eye for talent. <laughs> <Figure that's what laughs> I like that. Figure it out. I like that. That's a good way to end pretty much any point. Yeah, no, 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 yeah figure it out, Ross. No, I. you know what? I, I agree with you guys. I, I thought you were going to – I didn't know you were going to say Dalton Schultz. I, I thought that Connor I thought Connor McGregor had a uh, Connor McGovern had a Connor McGregor. Connor McGovern had a, had a, a possibility there. But, uh, all right, I like that. I like that. Uh, guys. Mm-hmm. Thing you're looking forward the most about training camp? Uh, seeing Zeke, you know, um, how much different is it? There was a nice write up with John Machota here in the athletic. Maybe we'll talk about that a little bit more coming up at three o'clock in the Cowboys news of the day. But is he leaner? You know, is he quicker? All those sorts of things compared to, to camps past. Yeah. Jeff, rudder room. Bring your, bring your cash. Yeah, the rudder room is a cash-only bar in Oxnard. You have to walk down some steps, and yeah. then when you walk in, there it smells like urine, and that's because there's usually some on the floor. Uh, but it's a great cash-only bar where I will play, uh, as is tradition, I will play Nelly's Country Grammar, the entire album, on mm-hmm. the jukebox, and um, and turn up. So the rudder room. I enjoy it. Gentlemen, thank you for playing the Sports Mix with me today. You got it. Brought us his Sports Mix every Friday at 2.40 here in the G-Bag Nation. Yes, we got the C-Note coming up next, and there is hard knocks news. Do we have to expect disaster before we even get to Oxnard? It's next in the G-Bag Nation. Small business owners know cutting costs without cutting quality is tough. How do you trim expenses without hurting your business? Easy. Get Spectrum Business. Call 888-489-2212. Switch to Spectrum Business and you can get the best internet and phone services for half of what you're paying today. Cutting costs can be easy when you get Spectrum Business. Just call 888-489-2212. Restrictions apply. Call for details. 
small business owners know cutting costs without cutting quality is tough. How do you trim expenses without hurting your business? Easy. Get Spectrum Business. Call 888-489-2212. Switch to Spectrum Business and you can get the best internet and phone services for half of what you're paying today. Cutting costs can be easy when you get Spectrum Business. Just call 888-489-2212. Restrictions apply. Call for details.